Welcome. This video is the fourth in a miniseries on foreign trade zone support in SAP Global Trade Services. This episode will show how domestic and duty paid goods can be transferred into an FTZ. Unless you have already done so, we recommend you watch the introductory video on FTZ first to get a grip on key concepts and terminology. Doing so may increase your takeaway from this video. Let us begin by repeating some of the benefits of foreign trade zone support in GTS. First, it will enable a reduction in duty costs associated with the import of goods and components. It will reduce expenses associated with operating in an FTZ through system automation. And finally, your business can improve data accuracy through full integration with the back-end system of record. Let us look a bit closer at receipt to an FTZ with domestic duty paid goods. It is possible to mix domestic duty paid goods with duty unpaid goods in an FTZ. Since duty has been paid, goods can be moved without requesting permits. We will now look at a specific scenario. We will buy one video monitor from a local supplier in the US. The goods are considered duty paid and will enter the FTZ with the status of domestic duty paid. In the first part of our demo, we will use two apps to create the preceding purchase order and inbound delivery before making the subsequent goods receipt. Ultimately, we will perform some administrative tasks before showing the changes in the FTZ inventory. We kick things off through the Create Purchase Order app. First, we raise a new purchase order towards our local supplier. We order only one item, the video monitor, destined for our FTZ. As we finalize and save the order, we note the PO number. The next step is to create the inbound delivery. This will typically happen as the organization prepares to receive the purchased goods. This is done through the Create Inbound Delivery app. We use the newly created purchase order as a reference. When we save the inbound delivery, we note the inbound delivery number. Since the goods are already in free circulation, we are free to move the goods into our FTZ. In our case, we record the goods receipt into the FTZ using the Change Inbound Delivery app. Before stock becomes visible to us, we need to run the process stock receipts into foreign trade zone app, typically running in the background every 15 minutes. Secondly, we must run the post stock to foreign trade zone app. This is also a typical background job, recommended to run once daily. With the goods receipt processed and posted, we open the display stock overview of foreign trade zone app. When filtering on the video monitor, we see that stocks amount to 11, all in duty paid status. The receipt issue list confirms this also applies to our recent goods receipt. Let us end by repeating some of the benefits of foreign trade zone support in GTS. First, it will enable a reduction in duty costs associated with the import of goods and components. It will reduce expenses associated with operating in an FTZ through system automation. And finally, your business can improve data accuracy through full integration with the back-end system of record. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this are coming shortly. See you then.